purpose of this experiment is for pupils to be able to determine uh, which appliance uses the most amount of power and therefore costs the most amount of money to run. Uh, the way we're going to do that experiment is that there will be a whole bunch of appliances at the front and pupils will be able to grab one of these, a power meter, and they plug it in and that goes into a 4 bar and so they can uh, use a whole range of different appliances to test it. Um, and you'll see that it says W, if you push the little function button, it says kilowatt hours, so that's total amount of power, voltage is the current voltage of the plug, amount of current, the lowest watts, the highest watts, no reading, and then watts, and so you just want on the watt setting, and then you come over with your hairdryer, and you turn your hairdryer on, so on low setting, it's using uh, 530 watts, and high setting, 786 watts, now I've plugged in the beta, if we turn that on. I'm low, 70 watts, to full speed, 83 watts, and turn it off, and so we're seeing that. And then we can have both the hairdryer on and that on. And we're seeing a combined. And so then pupils can use a whole range of different appliances. Uh, the power plugs are rated to 2,400 watts, and so we don't want it to go above that. And obviously things like the heater and the toaster uh, use the most amount, so both of them are on. And so we're looking at 1,850 watts, uh, which is huge. And then you put the hairdryer on, 2,500, oh, too much. Turn it off, and so we're seeing the things that heat use the most amount of power. So this is quite a gear-intensive um, lesson, so you can have, I don't know, 30 different household appliances. So we've got heaters, um, beaters, old-school toasters, kettles. With the kettles, make sure you've got hot water in them, some other toasters and food processors. So um, we've also got some light bulbs there, some light bulbs there, and some light bulbs in there, and some big heater bulbs. So lots of different things to test. The other way you can do this experiment is by using this ammeter. So always start on the 10 amp setting. So it's the grey wire plugging into there. And we'll turn it on. Oh, if I turn the hairdryer on, you can see that I'm low, it draws just over 1. And then I'm high, just over 2 amps at 240 volts. And then we can try the egg beater. It doesn't draw very much, and so we plug it to the 1 amp setting. The same it's saying it's drawing 0.2 of an amp. So that huge difference where if we turn the hairdryer on that one amp setting, it goes straight off the scale. And so we don't want it to do that. So that's another way of looking at power drawn by a whole range of different household appliances.